Welcome to Northern Lights over Arca. I'm JP and we're continuing the Circle Undone campaign with Calvin Wright. Last time we didn't do that well in the secret name scenario. Calvin got defeated and took a few more trauma. So now Calvin has one physical trauma and two mental traumas to start the game with. We are playing the Wages of Sin scenario this time and let's look what we upgraded in the deck with the one XP we got from the secret name. So I was first thinking that I would add uh, Miss Doyle, the cat, cat general from the Dream Eaters to Calvin. Uh, she's really good with her cats in Calvin, but I decided to first upgrade the second sharp vision into the deck. So I think after this scenario I will be adding Miss Doyle into the deck. Uh, to make room for the sharp vision, I removed the second baseball bat. I was finding out that I rarely played the baseball bat. And Fire Axe and Meat Cleaver are just, just better weapons for this build. Okay, that's enough of the deck. We are playing the Wages of Sin scenario. In this, uh, after the events in the Witch House, Calvin decided that he needs to find out more about the Witches. So what better place to go than the Hangman's Hill where they used to hang Witches. So let's see what we can find here. That's enough of the deck and scenario. Let's get started. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I have pre-shuffled the decks. And in this scenario we have two different encounter decks. We have the spectral deck and the normal deck. So when we are at the Spectral location, we draw encounter cards from the Spectral encounter deck and when we are in a normal location, we draw from the other deck. And let's draw our opening hand. We get Yattel, Trial by Fire, Hiding Spot, Say Your Prayers and Peter Sylvester. I think we will... Yattle, and I'm actually gonna mulligan all of the rest. So we get the Ward of Protection until the end of time, Meat Cleaver, and we replace the Mob Enforcer with Run for Your Life. Okay, at least we got an ally and a weapon at the start, so. We can deal with some enemies and also the only thing missing here is at the start is a effective way to get clues. Hopefully we can still manage to get some clues out of these few locations that have them. We need three clues to advance and at this moment uh, locations can't be flipped over yet. So. Let's just try to gather some clues. So we start at the Hangman's Brook. It's a four star location. There's one clue and it has the action resign. Uh, whose bright idea was it to come here anyway? But uh, at the moment, let's at least try to get some victory points so we can upgrade our deck a bit more. Okay, um, I think actually still need my action tokens. So first action, I think I'll just set up this turn so I'll get one resource. Second action, I'll play Yotel. Third action, 
uh, I'll play the meat cleaver. And that is our turn. A really fast first turn, but next turn we can start trying to get some clues. And knowing enemies, so upkeep, we get one card, it's a say of prayers, and we gain one resource. Okay, so that's the first turn, let's go to the next turn. We add one doom onto the agenda, and as we are on a normal location, we draw from the normal encounter deck. The first encounter is punishment, hex, revelation, put punishment into play in your threat area, forced. After an enemy at an any location is defeated, take one damage. Test willpower 3. If you succeed, discard punishment. If there is an exhausted witch enemy at your location, this test automatically succeeds. Uh, actually, just so that I get, can get my sanity up, uh, I mean, I can get to desperate range and my knowledge and willpower up, I will ward of protection this. So I'll take one horror and we can discard this and now we have a slight better chance to find some clues. First action, uh, I'll move to the abandoned chapel. It's a two shroud location with two clues and one big three point. During the mythos phase each investigator in abandoned chapel gets minus one to each skill. And second action, I will investigate. I'm investigating three versus two. We get a uh, plus one, so we get one clue of, of this location. And I will just investigate again. Three versus two. It's a uh, elder thing. Minus two. If you fail, and this is an attack or evasion attempt, resolve each haunted ability of your location. Well, it wasn't, so I just failed. So that is the turn. No enemies. We go to upkeep. I draw one card. It's a uh, reckless assault, and I will gain one resource. So we have good desperate skills in hand if we need them, and I'll probably try to play the until end of time next turn to get some more soap into play. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another ado, encounter card is racked, put racked into play in your threat area, you get minus one for to each of your skills during the first skill test you perform each round. Test will power three if you succeed this card correct. Okay, uh, I don't have a cancel for that, so I'll just have to take it. Uh, first action, I'll play the until end of time. Second action, I will be investigating. Uh, Bract lowers my investigation by one. So I'm a two versus two. It's elder thing, minus two, so we fail. And last action, I'll try to investigate three versus two again. It's an auto fail. Okay, so that is that turn. We go to upkeep, we draw one card, it's another meat cleaver and we gain one resource. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at 3 of 8 doom. Encounter card is another punishment. Uh, so, goes into our threat area. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, let's just try to investigate. Uh, again, Brack lowers our investigation by one. So, two versus two. It's a skull. It's a minus X. X is the highest. It is 
one higher than the number of copies of unfinished business in the victory display. So it's a minus one. So we fail. And uh, second action, try to investigate again. Auto fail. <laughs> well, Calvin is really struggling with this one clue here. Okay, let's try one more time. So, 3 versus 2. Minus 2. We fail again. So, we're not making any progress here, but hopefully, we can draw into some help that can actually help us. Actually, I'll just use Yatol at the end of my turn to maybe get a... Well, I would have wanted that car, but now I at least can use it with Yatol next turn. That is our turn. We go to upkeep. We draw Voice of the Messenger. I will take one horror and mental trauma. So now we have three mental trauma, and that helps also to investigate better. So, and we gain one resource. So that is our turn. Let's go to the next turn. We start the middle space, so we have four of eight doom. And counter card is Vengeful Witch, spawns at the gallows or heretic's graves, alert hunter. When Vengeful Witch is defeated, deal its damage and horror to each investigator at its location as direct damage or horror. And horror. Uh, let's just spawn in the witch at the gallows. And that is the Mythos phase. Uh, first action, I will use Yatol. No, uh, I will just try 3 versus 2. So I'm again one, minus 1 from the Bracht. And we gain a minus 2. Uh, we fail. Second action. Uh, now I will use uh, Yatol. Uh, Yeah, we, we don't have the <laughs> card on top, so we uh, we will just discard a card. It's a lucky. No help there. So, Yatol is pretty much useless at the moment. Let's uh, try again. So, investigating... Uh, 4 versus 2. It's a skull. So, finally we get this clue from here. And last action. Let's head up here and that is our turn enemy face the witch hunts here i think we will head in and try to kill the witch next turn and that is our whole turn so upkeep we gain sharp vision that's nice and one resource okay that is that turn let's go to the next turn we are at 5 Doom of 8, Encounter card is Bedeviled. Well, this is really bad, because now we can't use the Meat Cleaver. So what I think I will do is I'll move to the Haunted Fields. This witch engages us. And because all of these can be removed uh, if there's a exhaust witch at our location, so I will try to evade for a second action. I'll play run for your life for the action. Uh, the witch is uh, chilly three, so we are actually mm, yep. Rack is uh, we get the minus one, so 
So we are 5, 4 versus 3. What is the test? And I'll use Yattle. Uh, we get a hiding spot. So I'll use also Yattle. So we are 6 versus 3 for the test. Phew, uh, minus 3. So we just managed to evade the witch. And last action, I will get rid of Bedeviled because it is the worst of these. So it gets discarded, and that is our turn. Uh, next turn, we can use Yatol to use the run for your life again to evade and get these removed. After that, we can start killing the witch. This is quite going quite slowly, but yeah, this is a tough, tough scenario again as true solo. But yeah, uh, that is our turn. Uh, the witch readies in the upkeep, engages us again. We draw one card, and it's a uh, say of prayers, and we gain one resource. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 6 of 8 Doom. I'll actually move this witch closer. And encounter card is... Diabolic Voices. I'll just check. There's no Diabolic Voices in the discard, so it's a willpower 3 test. For each point I fail, I discard a random card from my hand. For each card you can discard, take one for, for damage. Uh, I I actually don't want to commit to this because yeah, well that screws up the, our evasion. In either way, it will if we fail. Yeah, so I'm testing three versus three. I'm just hoping it does fail. It's a plus one. <laughs> Finally, a break. So we passed that. And in investigation phase, first action, I'll use Yotol. I'll use the run for your life to evade this witch. I'm evading five versus three. And the bracket was already used in the in uh, mythos phase, so it doesn't drop our skill test now. So 5 versus 3. Uh, minus 4, we fail, and it's an alert, so the witch hits us for 1 damage and 1 horror. Okay, I think I'll just have to try to kill the witch. Uh, first action, I'll hit without using the meat cleaver, but uh, I won't take a horror, I mean. So I am hitting four versus three. It's an elder sign. So we hit and I will take one I won't take, I'll, I'll heal one horror, so we do one damage, and second action, I'll use the meat cleaver again this time to guarantee that we kill the witch, I'll use reckless assault. So I am 8 versus 3, it's a skull, so it's a minus 1, we pass. And the witch is dead. Now some things will trigger. So, host, when the vengeful witch is defeated, deal its damage and horror to each investigator at its location as direct damage and horror. But before that, uh, we'll heal one from the meat cleaver, then we'll take one damage and horror. 
and then punishment triggers after an enemy at any location is defeated take one damage so i'll take one damage that is okay last action i'll investigate i'll commit sharp vision to the test i'm investigating uh, five six seven eight versus three uh, so sharp vision while sharp vision is committed during a basic investigate action it gains two knowledge icons and the text if this uh, if this test is successful by two or more discover one additional clue so let's hope we succeed by enough eight versus three minus two so we pass uh, yeah we pass enough so we get both of these clues and that is our turn we go to upkeep because there's no enemies uh, we draw one card and gain one resource so we get peter which is a good good pull at this point and that is it so i think we'll we uh, I think we will advance on the next turn, so let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 7 of 8 Doom. Encounter card is Evil Past. Gets added to our threat area. Okay, I think now I will advance, so I'll spend the 3 clues. We spawn one set aside heretic enemy at each of the following locations. The Gallows, Heretic's Graves, Chapel Attic, and chapel of crypt. Add two clues per investigator to each of those locations. Add one clue per investigator to each other location. Check campaign log. If you have three or more mementos listed under mementos discovered, you understand the tragic lyrics behind the witch's song. Each investigator puts into play one set aside spectral web asset under his or her control. So First, let's check. We have three or more mementos discovered. So I will pause the video and do the setup and we'll continue from there. So be right back. Okay, so we are ready to continue. I added the clues on all of the locations and added the heretics in a random order to the locations. And we still have our full turn ahead of us. First action, I think I'll play down Peter. So, three resources for Peter. And we can flip the locations over. And we can't find clues in locations that are not spectral, so we need to do that at one point. Uh, we also have the spectral web that helps us uh, fight the enemies that have the Geist trait. So these heretics all have the Geist trait and all of the in enemies in the, the spectral encounter deck have the geist trait so that will be helpful i think i'll start investigating here so i'll use the pre-triggered ability to flip this over to uh, the spectral side and when we flip locations they won't get revealed but the tokens will transfer uh, to the other side so each spectral enemy at the haunted fields gets plus one horror value haunted move the nearest spectral enemy once towards haunted fields okay first action i think i will use yotl and investigate here so i am investigating five six versus three and i have racked in place so it's a minus one so it's five versus three Auto fail. So haunted, we move one of the 
spectral enemies. So these are spectral I can decide. I'll decide to move this here. And let's look this a bit cl more closely. So the heretics are 4, fight, 2 health and 3 evade. Monster Geist with uh, spectral elite. Heretic gets plus 2 health per investigator. While heretic is at a non-spectral location, it gains aloof and cannot be engaged or damaged. I can spend as a fast triggered ability uh, one clue to parlay and I can look at the backside. But I think I'll have to fight this heretic now. So I have one clue so I can use the spectral web. Uh, I use willpower instead of uh, fight for uh, instead of strength for this uh, fight action. And I get plus one skill value and plus one damage from the clue I use. So I spent the one clue and fight. So I'm fighting at six versus four. And I think I'll use the say your prayers for this. So I'm fighting ten versus four. It's a skull. So we succeed, we deal 2 damage to the heretic. And last action, I'll put one horror on Peter and I'll use the meat cleaver to fight again. Uh, it's a minus 4. So I'm 4, 6. Versus four, so I fail, unfortunately. Uh, nothing much I can do about that, so we don't hit, and that is my turn. Enemy phase, the heretic hits us. Uh, yeah, we heal Peter at the end of our turn, mm, so we take one damage and one horror. On. Yeah, I'll take the horror on myself. I'll take the horror on Peter. Okay, so that is the turn. We go to upkeep, so Yotel readies. We gain one card, and it's the winging it, one resource. Okay. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Mm, we are at the Doom Threshold, so we advance the agenda. So we flip each location to its spectral side. Put the set aside spectral watcher enemy in play at Hangman's Book. Shuffle the remainder of the Set aside the Watcher Encounter set into the Sectoral Encounter deck along with the Spectral Discard Pile. Well, there is no Discard Pile, so uh, we spawn this guy here. And let's shuffle these in. And then we need to flip all the locations to the Spectral side. And now we have a Doom Threshold of 7. And we can't flip locations over. So now they are all on the spectral side. And that is the mid scenario setup done. And then we get an encounter card and now we take it from the Spectral discard pile, so it's a shapes in the mist search. Resolve each haunted ability on your location. So, oh, yeah, uh, we forgot that we take one extra horror from the heretic. 
Yeah, so uh, move the nearest spectral enemy once towards the wounded fields. Mm. Do we want to move the spectral watcher or do we want to move another heretic? That is the question. I think we move the spectral watcher so it can engages us. And this searches, so we get the Malavent Spirit, spawn Chapel Attic or Chapel Crypt. Uh, because we have so many enemies here, I'll put it in... Yeah, well, just spawns in the Chapel Attic for now. And mm, Malavent and Spirit has the Monster Geist and Spectral Freight spawn. Yeah, we put it in the Chapel Attic. While Malavent Spirit is a spe at a Spectral location, it gains... Hunter and gets plus one damage and plus one horror value. Forced when Malevolent Spirit is defeated by damage, expect, except from spell or relic, instead of discarding it, heal all damage from it, exhaust it, and move to any spectral location if able. Okay. And yeah, let's see what we can do now. So, I think the first action will be evading the Spectral Watcher. I am six, uh, I'm five, 6 versus 3, but I have racked, so I'm 5 versus 3. And we get a Skull, so it's a minus 1, so we succeed. We exhaust the Watcher, second action. I'll take one horror and try to kill off this heretic. I am uh, seven versus four. Actually, I'll just use Yatol, Yatol to flip one card. Uh, no luck. Okay, so by the uh, Let's count again. 5, 6, 7 versus 4, so minus 3 or better. It's a uh, elder thing, it's a minus 2, so we succeed. We do deal 2 damage and we heal 1 horror. And I will heal the horror from the, until the end of time. And we get to flip this card over. Keep this card. In your threat area, this side up, at the end of the round, you must either lose two resources or flip this card back onto its enemy side. If you are at the chapel attic and it has no clues on it, test knowledge or agility 4. If you succeed, the ghost is banished. Yeah. And last action. I will move... So I'll move here. I think that is our turn. We go to upkeep. So the spectral watcher readies. Oh uh, yeah, enemy face first. So this guy hunts here. Oh yeah, Peter heals one horror. And then we gain one resource. And gain one card. It's the black book. And let's just check the timing at the end of the round. So now we lose two resources to keep this card flipped over. And I think that is our turn. So let's go to the next round. We add one Doom. And the Spectral Encounter card is Realm of Torrent, Torment. Put Realm of Torment into play in your threat area. When your turn begins, resolve each haunted ability on your location. When the turn ends, test Willpower 3. If you succeed, discard this. So we are really have all of the <laughs> all of the cards. Haunted ability here is take one damage until the end of the round. The above resign ability can be triggered. So we'll take one damage. I'll take it on Yatol. 
and that is it. Uh, first action, we'll move here. This uh, malevolent spirit engages us. Second action, we will hit it with the mid cleaver. I am fighting. So let's take this a bit closer. So I'm fighting seven versus two. Uh, six versus two because of Bract. And it's a zero, so we defeat the malevolent spirit so forced. And we didn't kill it by with a relic or spell, so instead of discarding it, heal all damage from it, exhaust it, and move it to any spectral location table. So we just move it over here, and it's exhaust. And second action, I think I'll investigate here. I will uh, use the winging it. Actually, I won't because then I don't have enough resources. So I'm just investigating uh, five versus two. Oh yeah. Um, we have actually forgot to uh, use that. So we defeated an enemy. One damage there. Okay. So investigating. Uh, it's a minus two. So we pass. We get this clue of this location. And just double checking. So we need to go to the chapel attic. And that is our turn. Uh, enemy base. The spectral watcher runs here. And nothing else happens. Upkeep. This spirit here readies, and we draw one card, and we gain one resource. Oh yeah, and we lose two resources. Hit that card. On that side. And that is our turn. So let's go to the next turn and see if we can banish this ghost. We add another Doom, encounter card is Terror in the Night, I'm just testing it. Uh, I'm 5 versus... Five versus uh, four minus one, so four versus four, I'll commit say a prayer, so I'm uh, eight versus four. Oh yeah, uh, let's test this at the end of our round. I forgot about that, so I'm actually, I could have used the say of prayer then, I'll use it then. So this gets removed, this is in our discard, and now we can use Yatol to use it for this test. It's a skull, so we succeed, this passes, and we go to investigation phase. Okay, so let's think about how we're gonna do this. Uh, I think we move here and we will gain one resource and investigate with uh, winging it. Yeah, okay. Let's move here and the heretic engages us. We will evade. I will. I don't have time to play the black hook, so we will just use it for the agility. So seven versus three. It's a zero. We evade this. And last action, 
I'll just investigate. So I have three cards in hand. While investigating Chapelatic, add the number of cards in your hand to your skill value for the investigation. So I'm investigating this is a shroud of eight. Uh, I'm investigating five versus plus three versus eight, so eight versus eight. Haunted. Uh, I think I won't risk that. I just gain one resource, and that's it. Actually, mm, I'll use the clue and hit this heretic here. So I'm fighting with the spectral web. I am plus one and plus one damage, so I'm six versus four. I'll commit the meat clean. Uh, no, I want more cars to be able to investigate. Yeah, just try to. Uh, six. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll save the clue for now. And I'll use the meat cleaver. So I'm 7 to 4. It's a skull, so it's a minus. Actually, now I have to check this. Yeah, it's still a minus one, so we do two damage to this heretic. And enemy face, the spectral monster hunts here, this hunts here, and we gain one card. And let's ready any everything up, and we gain one resource. End of the round, we discard two. Sources and hmm, I think that's it. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, so we add one doom and the encounter card is terror in the night. I'll just test this, so I'm testing 5 versus 4, it's a minus 1, we pass, and that is that. So I think I will, as first action, use Yato, and I use the Spectral Web to fight this heretic. I will commit uh, the Meat Cleaver, actually, yeah. I won't commit anything. I want to have the cards in hand. Yep, uh, Peter would have healed or again. So we are fighting six, seven versus four. It's minus two. So this heretic is defeated. And we have to take one damage, so unfortunately, I think it's time for the for Ryoto to get defeated because we take one damage here. Oh, yeah, and it was a minus. Yeah, actually, we failed this because we were testing with minus one. So many things to keep back up again, so a bit hard. Okay, so this gets defeated. Let's flip it over. So, keep this card in your threat area. Pause at the end of the round. You must either take one horror or flip this card back to its enemy side. If you are at cr uh, channel crit, it's here. And it has, it has no clues on it, test uh, knowledge or strength 4. If you succeed, the ghost is banished. Okay, so now we really need to get the clues out of this location. 
So I think the first action is to investigate. Um, we get plus one for each card in our hand. So we have four cards in hand. And I will investigate. So investigating for uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus four. Okay, so a plus one. We managed to get one clue. Last action, uh, I need to take one resource so I can still keep this unflipped. Okay, that's our turn. Uh, enemy face. This hunts here and this hunts here and hits us. Uh, we take one damage and one horror. So I take the. I'll take all of it on. Until end of time. Really hope I can get at least one one of these heretics banished. We draw one card. It's another winging it, and we gain one resource, and we discard one uh, resources at the end of the round, and we take one horror. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at. Uh, for Doom of 7 encounter card is a uh, Fate of All Fools just comes into play and I think first action we need to evade this Spectral Watcher evading uh, 6 versus 3 minus 1 so 5 versus 3 and it's an uh, it's alert, so it deals one damage and one horror. So Peter is defeated. <laughs> okay, this isn't, isn't looking good. Yeah. Second action. Evade again. I think I'll just have to commit something to this. So six versus. I commit the word of protection, uh, 6 versus 3. It's a minus 1. Uh, this is evaded. And last action, I'll try to investigate. Uh, again, I need to take the resource. Actually, I'm pretty much dead if I keep this unflipped, but I can keep this unflipped. Yeah, I'll... I'll try to investigate. So, it's a minus one. We are investigating five, six, seven, eight, nine versus eight, so we pass, so we get this clue. Okay, yeah, this this isn't going that well. Mm. Enemy face, this hunts here. Upkeep, we draw one card, another Peter. We don't have the resources and we don't have a way to take the horror, so this flip over. And... This ready is okay. <laughs> We're pretty much dead next turn. Well, maybe we can kill at least one of them. And so this is the one we need to kill again to do this. But in the process, we'll take another co opportunity from here. Just checking if it's a parlay. No, it's not, so that's unfortunate. Okay. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. 
Okay, so I think this is the last turn. <laughs> I, I really don't see a way out of this uh, situation. I will draw the counter card and it's... Yeah. So we discard a random card from our hand from the haunted ability on the shapes in the list. It's a winging it. That would have been nice earlier. Search is mm, Bane of the Living, Peril. You must either choose one, choose an unfinished business card in play, flip it to its heretic side, but we can't do that because they are all on the heretic side. Discard cards from the top of the spectra and counter deck until a guy's enemy is discarded. Spawn that enemy engaged with you. So we get a braid. Braid also engaged with us. <laughs> okay, well, I think this is the end of Calvin. There's no way we can banish any of those. I can't survive, I, I can't evade them all, so at least one of them hits me. I'll die to that. If I do. I, I kill one of the heretics first and try to do the action, I'll die. I think that's that's game over. But let's play it out. So I will use these clues to kill the heretic. So I'm fighting should have one resource. So seven versus four. It's a minus one. We do 3 damage here. I'll hit it with the meat cleaver. Minus 2, so I am 5, 6, 7, so I kill it. And now we could do this. But there's no way of me ignoring all of the damage that's coming from the attacks of opportunity so oh yeah and we actually die <laughs> we defeated an enemy so this punish it punishment just triggers and we die to that well this is this is a really really hard scenario especially if you get this many enemies on you and it takes so long to advance the first act as, a, as we did. But okay, we at least we got one XP from this. We take a physical trauma. We also took one mental trauma. So we're, we, we have uh, three mental trauma and two physical trauma going into the uh, for the greater good scenario. Let's just check the resolution quickly. So, uh, if no resolution was reached, uh, because its investigator was defeated, resolution 2, we record that the investigator survived the Watcher's embrace, and uh, we record X heretics were unleashed onto, the, onto Arkham, and it is 4, we don't get any mementos, and we gain a victory from the victory display, so it's 1 again, <laughs> so... Three scenarios in a row with one, but at least uh, that one gives us access to Miss Doyle. That will help us a lot. So yeah, that is the Wages of Sin, a really tough scenario. And thanks for watching, and until next time.